I feel like a kid in a candy store when I'm in a Japanese bakery. There's an endless amount of delicious bread and pastries that make a girl float into the skies. You can judge a true Japanese bakery by their shoku pan or milk bread. A simple Japanese egg salad and ham sandwich makes a perfect little meal on the go. Typically, a Japanese sandwich doesn't have much filling and I think it's because the flavor and wonderfulness comes from the fluffy bread. Oh, if you're at a Japanese bakery, try the anko pan. It's filled with red bean paste. And this is shio pan, salted butter rolls. I have a video on these rolls and I think my recipe is better. <laughs> I'll link it in the description box below just in case you're interested. So I did make a video on milk bread back in 2022, but I really didn't know what I was doing back then. I mean, I still don't know what I'm doing, but after many tries, I think there's progress. You are going to need a mixer for this recipe because I believe the fluffiness and pillowiness comes from mixing the dough until full gluten development. Let's make some shoku pan. We're first going to start with the yudan. Say what? This is when you scald a little bit of flour with boiling water, then it's later added to the dough once it has cooled. This will enhance the bread's texture and shelf life. We're going to need a bowl that can handle hot boiling water. To the bowl add 50 grams of bread flour, 75 grams of boiling water. Carefully mix until you no longer see dry ingredients. Cover and let it rest until it comes to room temperature. Once your yudan has cooled, we're going to add the following ingredients into a mixer bowl. 300 grams of bread flour, 35 grams of sugar, two and a quarter teaspoons or one packet of instant dry yeast, one teaspoon of malted barley flour, two teaspoons of milk powder, one teaspoon of salt, the yudan we made earlier, two tablespoons of butter, cold, and a little bit more butter for our loaf pan. 165 grams of water, cold. Mix on low for three minutes until all the ingredients are incorporated. Increase the speed to medium and let it run for an additional 20 to 25 minutes. Here, I checked my dough after 20 minutes and the gluten wasn't fully developed. So I let the mixer run on medium for an additional five minutes. Cover and let the dough rest at room temperature for one to one and a half hours or doubled in size. I was looking at the ingredients list on this shokupan bread and used it as a guide for this recipe. I decided not to use ascorbic acid and raisin culture. Ascorbic acid is typically used to strengthen and stabilize the gluten to make fluffier and larger bread. It can be substituted with vitamin C or any other citrus fruit, but I decided to omit this ingredient. Raisin culture is when you ferment raisins for a few days and use it as a leavener. It seems like a lot of work and I'm feeling too lazy for that. Flour your working surface. Place the dough on it. Gather the ends together and flip the dough over. Kind of drag or roll the dough against the working surface to form a tight ball. Cover and let it rest for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, let's butter our Pullman loaf pan. I'm using a 9 by 4 inch loaf pan. I like to butter the lid too. Stretch and shape the dough into a rectangle, about the length of your loaf pan. Roll the dough like a jelly roll. Pinch the seam into the dough. I also like to tuck the ends in as well. Place the dough in the loaf pan. It looks like a giant burrito! Cover and let it rest for one to one and a half hours or until the dough reaches close to the top of the rim. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for 40 to 45 minutes with the lid on. Mine took 40 minutes. This bread stays pretty soft for a few days. Here's day one. Day two. Day three. Day four. 
and it's still soft and yummy. Japanese bakeries usually cut off all the crust on their sandwiches. We actually saw a place where they were giving away free crust. Oh my goodness. Shokupan is probably my favorite bread. The bread is slightly sweet, but not too sweet. I love the fluffy, pillowy texture that just complements any filling. That's all the time we have for today. Until another weekend, guys. Bye!